I want to introduce to you my next speaker, who you probably, if you've been here all week, are familiar with, Benjamin Von Wong. Uh, a really amazing teacher, photographer, and has a background in engineering, which I think is interesting because it helps him to solve problems. And as photographers, we're constantly trying to solve problems in one way or another, small or large. Um, so I think he has an interesting background. Uh, Benjamin loves to share, loves to teach, and uh, actually is doing a lot more teaching um, than we might know. So welcome to the stage, Benjamin. Hey guys, so I'm super happy to be here today. Um, what I'd like to do in this five minute presentation is to share with you a crazy adventure that I've had since I quit my nine to five job that's still happening and that I hope will keep happening for the rest of my life in some way, shape, or form. Um, most of you can probably relate. I can sum up my three and a half years of mining engineering in a pretty straightforward way. I went to my job, did work, took some pretty pictures on evenings and weekends, and had some fun holidays once or twice a year. Quite safe, quite predictable. In contrast, my new life since quitting my job of January 20, 20, in 2012 has been quite crazy. It's been about traveling almost six months of the year, teaching, giving conferences like this one to hundreds of people, and it's given me the opportunity to work on the craziest projects. From preparing a real life, where's while they're out in Germany, playing with Tesla coils, lighting a church on fire in Paris, tossing people into waterfalls, creating a music video using nothing but cameras, or even assembling epic medieval armies of my own. <laughs> one of the most amazing experiences that I had was working with a crew from the underwater realm, who I met by simply sending them a random email after noticing their Kickstarter project, letting them know that I would love to get involved. Though they were in London, and meeting seemed completely improbable, I found myself looking for inspirational people to interview for a Kickstarter project of my own eight months later. So I reached out to Dave Reynolds, modeling over here, and before I knew it, I was hanging out with them in a four meter diving pool in the middle of the UK. Another example of creating opportunity would be this shot over here, coming up, featuring retoucher Chester Van Bommel over in Belgium in this fantastic abandoned location. Um, this was a result of a random email after I noticed that he did the retouching for another photographer that I looked up to by the name of Fiona Art. Um, but I mean, not all, success, not all stories start with su success. Uh, I met one of my most partner, important partners through failure. Um, I tried lighting a person on fire, unsuccessfully, twice, <laughs> on two very unfortunately popular be on behind the scene videos that caught the attention of professional pyrotechnician Andre Das over in Paris, France. He proceeded to insult my work, and I promptly replied by telling him that we should work together. <laughs> and since then, I've been doing fire with this guy across multiple cities across the world, constantly pushing the limits of what's possible. Um, I'd like to reiterate that I had absolutely no idea what I was doing when I quit my job. Um, there, were, there was no three-year plan, no market studies, no business plans on who would possibly need images like these ones. Um, all I had was a naive belief that I was gonna get out there and make something happen. Um, yet somehow, not knowing, not planning, led to insane projects that have only gotten larger, crazier, and even expanded past the realm of photography, such as the six-minute Game of Thrones fan fiction, complete with armor, zombies, and zombie horses that I just released. And I think that the key is um, to realize that if you dare to dream the impossible, you can take that dream and make it into reality. This absurd photo montage over here for a crowd, was for a crowdfunded project that I wanted to do that actually became true. I did end up in Europe at the Louvre, not doing that face. <laughs> is it easy? Absolutely not. There are definitely hard times, rough times. I mean, no boss runs after you making sure that you wake up in the morning. There's no paycheck in two weeks, and there's no getting paid just to show up at work. No work, no pay. Lots of work, sometimes still no pay. <laughs> but is it worth it? Um, without a doubt, and for this simple reason, because knowing the reason why you wake up in the morning is worth more than any paycheck. Let me repeat that. Knowing why you wake up in the morning is worth more than any paycheck. The first job I actually quit was not my job as an engineer, but my job as a photographer. I first began photography shooting events, but eventually came to the conclusion that I had to let it go. Not because business was bad, actually quite the contrary. Business was so good that I actually ended up with two jobs, photography and engineering. I didn't want two jobs. I wanted a job and a passion so I could shoot stuff like this, zombies. Um, two years on the road, I'm still shooting zombies, passionately, except that now they're special Game of Thrones zombies. I realized that I was headed in the wrong direction, away from what I love, so I had to make a change. Anyone can do what I do. It's not because I'm particularly talented. Actually, this image over here is my first attempt at shooting in studio. Epic, right? Um, 
Hard work and dedication, not talent, is what really is going to make the difference at the end of the day. And if, on top of that hard work and dedication, you actually have a dream that you believe in, a goal that you want to walk towards, stop daydreaming and start making that dream into reality. The fear will always be there. It never truly leaves. Uh, fear of failure, fear of the unknown, uh, fear of instability. But sometimes those fears are way better than the alternative of not knowing what you're waking up for in the morning. I know what I wake up for in the morning, and that is to grasp life by the balls, to live the ups, the downs, and everything in between. And I believe, I believe that I will succeed at whatever I set my mind to do, because that is a re reality that I have chosen to live in. And in this reality, I also choose to believe in you. Thank you very much. <laughs>